Hello again, this is Andy, KE4GKP, and welcome back to the Ham Whisperer and Lesson 21 in the Technician Operator Element 2 exam. Today we'll be going over the T6C questions, which go over the circuit diagrams and schematic symbols you'll need to know for the exam. And with that said, let's get going. Okay, the first question. What is the name for standardized representations of components in an electrical wiring diagram? Now, the answer is schematic symbols. And schematic symbols, schematic diagrams, schematics, all that stuff pretty much means the same thing when you're talking about electronics. If, if you do anything with building electronics, schematic symbols and schematics are your best friend because they outline how com electrical components are related to each other and how they're hooked up and all that good stuff. So there is a schematic symbol for every component and for the most part they are universally recognized. What is component one in figure T1? Well figure T1 is the diagram you're going to be seeing on the exam and component one in figure T1 is a resistor and you can tell it's a resistor by that zigzag back and forth squiggly line. Just remember that is a resistor and you will see a lot of those. What is component two in figure T1? Well if you look at T1 Component 2 is a transistor, and that is the schematic symbol for a transistor. And we talked about transistors in the last lesson. And what's neat about the transistor schematic is you can tell what kind of transistor it is by which direction the arrow is pointing. For instance, this one is a NPN transistor, which means that it has two uh, layers of N-type semiconductor material sandwiching a layer of P-type semiconductor material. But just look at that symbol. That symbol is a transistor. What is component 3 in figure T1? Well, if you look at figure T1, component 3 looks kind of like a light bulb. In fact, it's a lamp. And if you look at it, it does look a little bit like a lamp. So just remember that symbol is a lamp. What is component 4 in figure T1? Well, if you go over and you look at figure T1, component 4 has got some parallel lines. Some are longer than others. That symbol is a battery. Now, you can tell the polarity of the battery on a schematic because the large end or the longer line end is positive and the end with the short line is negative. So that parallel junction or that parallel series of lines is a battery. What is component 6 in figure T2? Well here's figure T2 that you'll see on the exam and if you look at figure 6 it's a capacitor and you can tell it's a capacitor because it has the two plates. Remember capacitors are made out of uh, two plates that are separated by an insulator. Now just look at that symbol and remember it's a capacitor. What is component 8 in figure T2? Well, if you look at figure T2, component 8 ha looks like an arrow pointing towards a line with a bunch of lightning bolts come out of it. Now, that arrow pointing towards that base there, that is an, a, a schematic symbol for a diode. And the little arrows coming out of it means it's emitting something. So what is it emitting? It's emitting light. So the diode symbol with the lightning bolt arrows coming out of it is a light emitting diode or LED. What is component 9 in figure T2? Well, if you look at figure T2, component 9, it looks like a resistor, but it has an arrow kind of coming off the lead and leading into the middle of the resistor. Now, what this is, this is a variable resistor, and I have some issue with this schematic because I, I've seen some other variable resistor schematics that look different. However, for the exam, this is the correct answer a variable resistor. Now the resistor part is easy to identify and w how this is identified as a variable resistor is the arrow pointing towards the center. So remember that variable resistor arrow pointing towards the center on a resistor schematic. What is component 4 in figure T2? Well component 4 in figure T2 is a transformer and if you look at it a transformer schematic looks like two schematic symbols for an inductor placed closely together and that's exactly what a transformer is. In a transformer, the, mag the magnetic field in one of the inductors causes electrons to move in the other inductor. And what a transformer can do is it can change voltages in an AC circuit, which if you've ever traveled overseas and you try to get your American razor, electric razor to plug into an outlet in Europe, you need a transformer to change the voltage from 220 to 120 so you can use your razor. So that's what a transformer is. What is component 3 in figure T3? Well, if you look at it, it looks like the schematic for an inductor with an arrow pointing towards the center of it. And if you remember the, the similar symbol on the for the resistor, the variable resistor, this is a variable inductor. And you can tell by the arrow pointing at it, that makes it variable. Now I have beef with this one too, for the same reason I had beef with the variable resistor schematic, and that I've seen other ones that are used to mean the same thing. 
But just remember the arrow pointing at the place in the middle of the inductor indicates it's a variable inductor. And this is the one you need to know for the exam. What is component 4 in figure T3? Well, if you look at figure T3 and you see component 4, it looks like a triangle upside down with line through it. Now, this is an antenna. And you will see these on circuits for receivers or transmitters. Um, and it kind of, if you think about it, looks like an antenna. So just remember that symbol is an antenna. What do the symbols on an electrical circuit schematic diagram represent? And if you look at all these, what are all these symbols? All these symbols are electrical components. So they all represent electrical components. And on the exam, it's the only answer that makes any sense. Which of the following is accurately represented in electrical circuit schematic diagrams? The answer is the way components are interconnected. So es essentially, a schematic diagram is a map of how the components in a circuit are interconnected. Now, schematic diagrams are not to scale, which means the physical size of the components and wire lengths are not represented in a schematic diagram. And remember that because the exam is going to try to trick you on that question. All a schematic diagram does, it shows how components are interconnected in a circuit. And that's it for the review, and now it's time for the T6C quiz. So number your paper from 1 to 13. I'll go through the answers quickly, pause the video if you need more time. When you're done with the quiz, be sure to go to handwhisper.com and check your answers. You'll find them under the exam answers page under the T6C link. All right, let's get started with the quiz. Question 1. What is the name for standardized representations of components in an electrical wiring diagram? A. Electrical depictions. B. Gray sketch. C. Schematic symbols. Or D. Component callouts. Question 2. What is component 1 in figure T1? A. Resistor. B. Transistor. C. Battery. D. Connector. Question 3. What is component 2 in figure T1? A. Resistor. B. Transistor. C. Indicator lamp. Or D. Connector. Question 4. What is component 3 in figure T1? A. Resistor. B. Transistor. C. Lamp. Or D. Ground symbol. Question 5. What is component 4 in figure T1? A. Resistor. B. Transistor. C. Battery. Or D. Ground symbol. Question 6. What is component 6 in figure T2? A. Resistor. B. Capacitor. C. Regulator IC. Or D. Transistor. Question 7. What is component 8 in figure T2? A. Resistor. B. Inductor. C. Regulator IC. Or D. Light emitting diode. Question 8. What is component 9 in figure T2? A. Variable capacitor. B. Variable inductor. C. Variable resistor. Or D. Variable transformer. Question 9. What is component 4 in figure T2? A. Variable inductor. B. Double pole switch. C. Potentiometer. Or D. Transformer. Question 10. What is component 3 in figure T3? A. Connector. B. Meter. C. Variable capacitor. Or D. Variable inductor. Question 11. What is component 4 in figure T3? A. Antenna. B. Transmitter. C. Dummy load. Or D. Ground. Question 12. What do the symbols on an electrical circuit schematic diagram represent? A. Electrical components. B. Logic states. C. Digital codes. Or D. Traffic nodes. And question 13. Which of the following is accurately represented in electrical circuit schematic diagrams? A. Wire lengths. B. Physical appearance of components. C. The way components are interconnected. Or D. All of these choices are correct. And that's it for Lesson 21 and the T6C section. Now that you're done with the quiz, go to handwhisper.com and check your answers. And until next time in Lesson 22, this is Andy, KE4GKP, saying 73, and I hope to hear you on the air soon.